What's up, everybody? It's Buffalo Ben 15 Golf back at it again. And today we return to the Ironwood Golf Club out in Howell, Michigan for the back nine of the second round that I've played here this year. If you guys remember on the front nine of um, the previous episode, I shot 41 the first time I played the front nine here. Shot a rather solid 40 um, on this day. And let me tell you, I was crushed. Even though I shot well, I still... It left a bad taste in my mouth because of that three putt on the last hole. Oh, man. shape was perfect. Uh, it just goes to show how quickly momentum can change, right? And I know you guys saw that this saw the length of this video being like 25 minutes long and you're thinking this guy's full of crap well let me tell you it's worth it all right just please i beg you watch to the end it is worth it you are going to see some really good stuff out of this episode so this hole so far, just kind of been limping my way up it. I got pretty unlucky off the tee, and um, I hit a tree, and it went 30 yards back towards me, so I had a long shot in. I hit a decent punch shot with the six, then an average chip, then a great putt. Oh, man, the putter overall has been pretty darn white hot today, I'll tell you. I've made a few good ones. Um, number eight, that was a great putt. Number 10, just now. More to come. I promise you're going to see a couple more good putts out of this video. So, I was, as I prefaced in the front nine vlog, very cognizant of where I was in relation to my 82 round that I had here. Which I thought I honestly didn't play that badly. I mean, this is what sixty nine point nine rating, one twenty nine slope. I mean, that's not a that's not a pushover course. I mean, it's not that hard. All but right, it's not. I've played easier courses than this. I mean, this is a tough one. I I can't imagine how tough it'll be when the trees get even taller go, and the trees get even along, higher. Because, like I said, I this course is only um on this 40 years right old all about big so the trees aren't quite at full length yet or full height yet i I'd, I'd love to play this course like 15 20 years from now when the trees get a little higher I, I bet it would be quite a fun test i'll tell you what this was a tough shot here this bunker is pretty new honestly totally to this course um when you look on the scorecard like on the course map that bunker's not there. They recently added that. This hole is a lot more demanding than it used to be. Even though it's a shorty, it, it'll still mess with you. The green is one of the smallest on the course. I just hit a bad toe strike off the tee, and it led to me kind of just taking my medicine, and we're going to end up with a bogey here. Couldn't quite get away with the up and down this time, as opposed to number 10. I really wanted at least a par out of that hole too because guess what next? And I've got driver in hand. I know you guys are thinking this is totally stupid what he's doing, but if you guys remember what happened last time, last time I played conservative with the six iron trying to hit the 150 stake and it did not work out well. So this time my mentality is your driver's been doing pretty good today. Just try to clear everything. And it starts to widen at about 250, uh, which by Ironwood standards, widen doesn't necessarily mean wide, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. But we're set up here. Posture looks good. Ooh, that sounded great. All right down the pipe, people. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Right that on the like button. The shot of all time. This hole is just one of the tightest I've ever seen. 
but guess what? Oh my God. Oh yes. Oh my gosh. Right when we needed it. Right when we needed it. So there it is guys. Tee shot right in the middle of the fairway. And get it onto the green. That's all right. That's totally fine. We can put. I'm kind of jokingly talking about oh, I the drive was perfect. Why wasn't that shot perfect or something like that? I don't remember the exact details. This was almost a month and a half ago. So birdie putt here on the hardest oh, hole on the oh, course. Oh. No. All right, guys. But, but it's a par. It is a par on the hardest hole. That is how you go in clutch. That is how you keep it alive. All right. Off to number 13, another hole that I struggled a little bit on last time. This tee shot's better. More often than I hit the fairway. This is actually good live, so I'm not going to move. You can't really tell, but the pavement kind of cuts off. All right. So just kind of giving a little waggle back there. Just loosen myself up because I'm really going to try to compress this. This is kind of in like a matted down area of the rough because it's kind of a path. So this is one of the few times you'll see me hit a three wood out of the rough and I take full advantage. We are on the green in two. Boom indeed. That's on the green. We are on a roll right now. I hit that 250. That's like five feet. Oh my gosh. What? Dude, we might make an eagle. What? And it's like, it's pretty darn close to dead straight. It breaks just a little bit to the right. I have made an eagle once in my life before and it was not on camera. This could be the first eagle I ever make on camera. Come on, big bird. Let's do it. I told you this episode would be worth it, guys. That might be the best three wood I've ever hit in my life. Not just on camera, but in my whole life. <sighs> Moment of truth. Come on. Let's sink an eagle. Tracking. No! I, I hinked it! Oh. Are you kidding me? That would have gone in too. Because I was going to protect against the three putt because I didn't want to like nuke it long and then have a birdie putt that I might not make. Oh man! Oh, it's like it's never gonna happen! <laughs> I bet you I make it on the second try. I bet you I do. I'm gonna be so mad if this goes in. I should probably just walk away. Okay, it wouldn't have mattered. Dang it! Still birdie, I can't be mad at that. We're in uncharted territory. I could barely, like, look at the screen while watching that putt stay short. And you know why else I could barely look at the screen? That! Oh, I didn't even see it. It's right in the driving zone. This is one of those holes at Ironwood. While it's short, it's still tough. Let me tell you, just because of that water... That fairway gets like half its width at one point, and I just, I just caught that little arm coming out. <sighs> Unbelievable. Momentum change. I guarantee you, li listen to me. Listen to me when I say this. I guarantee you 
that I would have hit a better tee shot had I drained that eagle putt. Guaranteed. Oh, man. I'm telling you, mental game is, like, absolutely through the roof right now with how this round is going. There were a couple holes where I just made a complete mess like this one. And there were holes where I just took full advantage of, pulled it off when it counted the most. Um, holes where I barely stayed in bounds on like number four. Holes where I hit terrible shots where I should have hit good shots, good shots where I should have hit terrible shots. We're all over the map right now, guys. But there we lose quite a bit of insurance. There we go from plus four to plus six, which just definitely more tenuous of a um, margin here. With only four holes left, we need to go one over or better in order to break 80 here. This drive is a good start, though. I make short work of this hole. I hit a pretty good chip here, as you guys are going to see. Actually flirts with the hole a little bit. That would have been nice. Dang, almost got the eagle twice, right? So, I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, you, you just look at me from one hole to the next, and you're like, that's the same guy. Yeah, I know. It's 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 even weirder if it's watching yourself. So, just barely slide by on this birdie putt. Still not upset at all with par here. This is a tough green. Honestly, I thought I hit a pretty good putt on that one. It looked pretty good off the face. So, we remain at six over. That's all right. We don't have to birdie any holes. We just can't get bad scores either. We don't need to rally to finish. We just need something decent. And this tee shot, eh, I don't know if I'd call it decent. It was another kind of weak toe strike, kind of what I was struggling with down the stretch here. Maybe, maybe that's a little bit of me getting tired. Not exactly sure. Um, maybe me trying to not shank it may, cause you know how sometimes I like to crowd the ball whenever I, I'm trying to like steer it or trying to curve it or whatever, especially when I'm trying to, trying to fade it. So, um, definitely cost me here on this one as I landed in the very front of the green, and the pin was in the very back of the green. So there you go. So not a good putt at all. And uh, knowing what's coming, this was a must make. Because that 17th, I can't rely on getting a par on that hole. I just can't. I mean, I know I can, I know I can get a par, but chances are slim. Although I did get a par on 12, so maybe this isn't a must make. Although it would help quite a lot. Let's see what happens. Yes. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Right in the middle of the cup. Oh, nice. Authoritative stroke there. Oh, yeah, guys. That was huge. All comes down to this, guys. We have to go one over on the last two in order to break 80. I haven't broken 80 probably in about six weeks now. Not not ever since so many blend. So this might be the run. We've got left. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. We've got left this hole, which is 350. Par four, dog leg to the left. And then we got a 460 par five. It's more like four and a half. But uh, for, for me anyway, but uh, at the same time, I'd rather only have to make a par going into it. I 
I hit five iron last time on this tee, and I pushed it into the woods. That's the 150 out there, so it's 200 to that. I've got five iron again. I almost want to take six iron, just in case I push it again, because the trees come into play earlier, the further right you go. But at the same time, I don't want to have a long shot in. I feel like I gotta face my fears with this five iron. I can feel a little bit of wind in my face. And also on number 12, I I went with six iron uh, the last round that I played here and I totally muffed it. Do not want that to happen again. I think I think I faced my fear on number 12 and it worked. So you know what? We're gonna face our fear on 17 and hit the five iron. While this is usually go the safety club for me off, off the tee, oh I've gotten so much better at the four and five iron this year, especially the five. On this hole. Really, nothing's a safety club. Another pressure shot. Mental fortitude needs to come forth here. Yes. 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 Oh, what did I tell you guys? Oh, Gotta face my it here. goodness. Kyle Stanley mental fortitude to the finish, everybody. Let's do it. Kyle Stanley level mental fortitude indeed. Oh, man. I think we're on. Hey, that's a, that's a, that was a solid, solid five iron. I could not have hit that any more straight if, even if, I, I probably, that probably went offline by less than two feet. That's how good that shot was. And then I wasted anyway with a uh, putt that rockets by. But hey, I'm not really worried about the 18th. I'm just like, don't nuke this one long too and give yourself a, a questionable bogey putt. This one's uphill though. All right, yeah, that's in. All right, bogey. Not ideal. Three putt was not ideal, but it's better than what I did last time, which was a double bogey. So no doubles today. We got a bogey. And we're off to the 18th hole, 467-yard par 5. I know it says 458 on the card, but I'm... Going all the way back to the back of the tee box. Because why not? Driver's been solid today. Playing the course at its full length. It's full challenge, everybody. So, pretty good drive. About 260 down the left side. It looks like I'm stymied by that tree, but I'm not. I'm, I've, I'm 202 out, I lasered it. 180 to clear the water. And I just it's realized something. Oh my goodness. We're just gonna lay up then. Yeah. So. I, if I moved it, if the ball would. Yeah, just let me explain it here. No, so. It, definitely okay. an unfortunate. Um, Doesn't have to be pretty. Turn of events here. Although, maybe the golf gods here are looking out for me like, Ben, if that acorn was not behind your ball and you hit the four iron, you would have messed it up. Can't exactly mess this up, though. Yeah, pretty good shot. Just a little punch out down to the uh, bottom of the fairway there. And I'm going to show you what kind of it looked like here. Yeah. I'll try to show you. 
forget where I exactly hit from. I think it might have been here. My ball is like right here. And there's a big acorn. It was like cut in half. It didn't look like that. It looked more like one of these. But that's what, that's what was inhibiting me from getting there. So here we are. Pitching wedge over the water with the mower guy trying to distract me. As you can see, I hit that one a little skinny. But let me tell you, that ball significantly above my feet there. So a chunk was definitely in play. A disaster shot was definitely in play there. Because if I go in that water, I have to chip in from the drop zone. Like that's part of the reason why I was thinking maybe go with the four iron before I saw that acorn. Because I was like, even if I go in the water, I can still get up and down from the drop zone, which is a little bit more manageable. So, well, actually a lot more manageable. But as is, it'll be good enough. That is within two feet and like hit it soft i'm just gonna walk up and show you guys here that's all you gotta do and we did it little little tap left so just walking up here we did it 79 39 back nine i couldn't have cut it closer than i did but we pulled it off Drought snapped! That's it! We got it! Oh man, party time Let's now. Go. Time to go to Culver's after that one. Woo boy, there it is guys. 79. With 34 putts. Honestly, that's a little high, but that just goes to show how solid the ball striking was today. Five out of 14 fairways, only one penalty. That's pretty good. Nine out of 18 greens and regulation. That's better. That is a lot better. Hey, I'm six out of nine in the back. Yeah. Goes to show ball striking, iron striking was good today. Real good. So there it is, guys. Told you guys it would be worth it. There it is. You asked for it. You got it. Oh, man, I wish I could do that more often. Feels good to break 80. It really does. I know this isn't the most difficult course out there, but let me tell you, some of those holes will just eat you alive mentally, and I was able to get through all of them. I know I had a close call on number three there, but I did not take a penalty, even though I was in the woods a little bit. I don't think we're going to call that a I don't think we're going to call that a screw up. Oh, man. Made short work of a lot of holes. That eagle putt, oh my gosh. I am so, I'm still mad that that didn't go in. Let me tell you, I thought I had a 75 into, in me today. Because um, I had a couple putts that um, I could have done better on. Number nine, I could have done better not three-putting on 17. But overall... I'm pretty happy with how I played today. And, and let me tell you, the fact that I can do even better than this, that's, that's a good sign, guys. That's a real good sign. So I will leave you with that. That is all for now. The one-year anniversary, oddly enough, of this channel is coming up um, on Wednesday, November 24th. Mark your calendars because most likely, I, I no promises because it's a lot of content to edit at once from now till then. But there will be, the next golf vlog will be a full 18-hole golf vlog at a course you have never seen before on the channel as a one-year anniversary special. Guys, thanks so much.
for sticking with me throughout this entirety of this channel. We are just at the beginning. I want to, I'm dead serious when I say I want, I, this is the kind of stuff that I want to be doing for years and years and years. I absolutely love course vlogs. I love that you guys love course vlogs. It just, this is what I look forward to doing. Honestly, whenever I'm not golfing, this is like the next best thing for me. And I know that's a, that's, I mean, well, it is kind of golf, Ben. Well, maybe a little bit, but with that being said, I'm a very analytical detail oriented person. And I, I like watching myself do things and watch myself do it right that image just sticks in my brain. So with that being said, that's all for now. Look forward to either a Wednesday or Thanksgiving day upload. I probably, you know what, maybe after that day, because I know you guys are being with your families and all that. Um, I know that's uh, really important to you. It's real important to me. Um, so I, I, I'm i going to be considerate of that. But in the next week, I would say, 99.9% .9 sure, in the next week, one-year anniversary 18-hole golf vlog special. So I think I've said this about four times now. That's all for now, guys. This is Buffalo Ben 15 signing off. Have a good day, everyone.